I am the coordinator and professor in the Bachelor of Design program here at Conestoga College. So I'm just going to share a little slideshow I've put together here so you can get a better sense of what our students create and what you can end up doing in your future. So for a quick overview, we are a four-year degree in visual design, and we're pretty unique in that we integrate both design and business courses. Uh, what's interesting about that is that it sets you up for a freelance career or just working in the field of design or even establishing your own design studio in the future, which many of our graduates have gone on and done successfully in our community. In addition to that, uh, since we are in a college, this is still a degree, of course, like any other degree, you get all the theory around design, but you also get the benefit of project based learning. So everything is very hands on. Uh, we're teaching technical skills, uh, lots of different softwares, uh, specifically within like the Adobe Creative Cloud. And we're always emphasizing things such as critical thinking. We have courses around research. And as I mentioned, of course, we're going to be teaching you plenty of design techniques throughout your time in the degree. Our goal, of course, at the end of all of this is to help you develop a, an award worthy design portfolio to help launch your career. And we have tons of different courses. Uh, we introduce you to all kinds of different types of design. Um, under the umbrella of design, there are numerous careers. So we want to make sure that you get exposure to all of them. And then by the end of your degree, you can specialize a little bit and really focus on the thing that you enjoy most. So in terms of the program benefits, again, we are located in Kitchener-Waterloo, which is often referred to as Canada's tech hub or Silicon Valley North. We do have a Google campus here in town. We have Desire to Learn. We have Shopify and a number of other tech companies that many of our students end up uh, working for, as well as many tech startups, too. Um, so the region is very rich in job opportunities for our graduates. In addition to that, uh, we offer our students uh, membership in the Association of Registered Graphic Designers. That's our professional association. They provide us with tons of different resources, conferences, and of course, perhaps most importantly, uh, mentorship opportunities too. Beyond that, what I think is probably the greatest feature of our program is our eight-month paid co-op placement. So during your time in the program, you have an opportunity to work with people, uh, build your professional network, and many of our students actually end up getting uh, actual job contracts with their co-op employers. So upon graduation, they already have a job. Um, so it's a pretty fantastic opportunity. In addition to that, we do work with live clients within our communities too. So everybody does get an opportunity throughout the program uh, to work on real life projects uh, beyond just what we're doing in the classroom. And then the other benefit too is that we do have smaller class sizes with faculty that have creative and business industry experience. So you're probably wondering, what can I do with all of this? Again, it's quite broad, uh, but our program can set you up to do a number of different things. You can become a graphic designer, uh, many of our students end up freelance designing on the side, so that business part is really important for helping to maintain your freelance career. Uh, students go on to be art directors. You can also become a design educator because you have a degree uh, in visual design. Uh, if you're interested in illustration, you can become an illustrator and apply that to many different things. Uh, we also have students that get into brand and content strategy. Uh, environmental design is a really interesting field right now. It's really around uh, developing signage and designs for interior spaces. Uh, many of our students are also entrepreneurs or studio owners, as I mentioned before, too. So again, that business piece is very important for helping our students establish their own studios. Uh, you can get into multimedia design, packaging design, and of course, perhaps one of the largest areas that our students do end up getting into is like interaction design or what's commonly referred to as UX UI design. So if you're into apps or web development, that would be a field or career that you can get into. And in terms of different settings that you can work in, uh, you might be in design studios, ad agencies, corporate or not-for-profit communication departments, and of course, uh, in this region especially, uh, new business ventures. So these are just some examples of student work uh, that we have throughout the program. We all start off with using traditional media. We think it's very important for all of our students to have a foundation in those skills. We always say, you know, um, having a computer doesn't necessarily make you a better designer. It just makes you a faster one. So uh, we always want to make sure that we all have that same foundation. So we start with traditional illustration. We get into book binding, hand rendering type, as you can see from all of these examples here. Uh, moving forward, we do, of course, start integrating uh, digital media. So working with Adobe Creative Cloud apps, 
where our students are actually creating their own typefaces, like in the example on the left. So this is a type specimen the student created, then actually created their own portrait. So we do photography as part of the program and introduce uh, photo manipulation. Typography is a huge part of what we do as well. So we talk about different typographic systems, fonts, et cetera, that you can work with for different reasons. So this in, uh, particular example is a poetry book on the right that the student created, um, trying to further express the content of the poem using these typographic systems. Beyond there, we get into uh, illustrations, a big part. So working with Adobe Illustrator, uh, using it for promotion of various events. Uh, we also apply it to things like packaging. So package design is a huge part of our program. And we also like to focus on other elements of packaging, such as sustainability, which is very important uh, to the world today, too. This is another element of the program here. So our students actually develop motion graphics too. So it's not full on animation, but it is creating um, your own elements. So working with typography, your own illustrations, and then adding motion to that. So we're working with uh, Adobe After Effects to create a lot of these things. And this is uh, going to be used uh, to promote our grad showcase uh, this coming August. Uh, so this will be featured on our website uh, when that launches. By your fourth year of the program, we do have a thesis course. And within this course, this is what really allows you to specialize and help tailor your portfolio to whatever your career goals are. Um, this is a fantastic project done by one of our students uh, called Press Pause. It's a mental health self-help kit uh, that has actually been picked up by a number of institutions in Southern Ontario and even here at the college as well, which is distributed to our first year students. So this is a successful business that this student launched uh, and continues to run to this day. And we also get students that are really focused again on UX UI. So developing websites, developing apps, thinking about user interfaces uh, and how users are going to interact with those things that they design. So these were all developed through our thesis uh, program as well. And then finally, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about uh, what our graduates are doing or getting examples of their work, uh, we do have a grad showcase website. It's just thebachelorofdesign.com. Each student has their own profile, so you can get like a snapshot of their work, but you can also find links there that navigate to their professional portfolios, um, so you can see their full portfolios as well. Beyond that, we're all over the internet too. Uh, you can Google us at Consul College of Bachelor of Design. Uh, you can go to our Grad Showcase website, as I said. Uh, we're on Instagram and Facebook. And if you do need to reach out to me with any questions, uh, you can find my name here at the bottom right uh, with my email. So again, I'm Josh Parasati. Uh, and you can reach me at jparasadi at conestogac.on.ca.